It doesn't even sound like you're making a spell. It sounds like you're, you're old. It sounds like you're a, like 70 year old person. <laughs> That's not how you do it. Not, what is that? I'm in my deathbed. No. Do you even know any? Name one spell. <laughs> What? Did you just dab with that? You dabbed with that. <laughs> no, come on. I just want what's What is that? Are you flossing with the wand? Alright. Do you know one of the of the Is it it's Wingardium Leviosa? Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. I think it's Expelliarmus. Expelliarmus. Ah. Why you have to stupefy me? He's got crusty dusty in his eyes. Oh. oh, he's not having it. He's lit hungry. Back, watch out, Jasmine. Hey, don't ask like that. Come here. Come here. Okay. You got him? Yes. All right, fans. Um, so today we're going to be doing an unboxing. This is my wife's bag, and this is her haul that we got from the Harry Potter store. This is my haul. I'm going to be going through this bag first, and then we're going to be going through this bag, showing you guys everything that we got from the Harry Potter store. Uh, the other day. All right, guys. So this is the uh, the exclusive Mina Lima uh, design and illustrated by Mina Lima uh, illustrated edition of the Sorcerer's Stone. This is the very first book in the line of Harry Potter books, um, and she's doing a whole reimagining of all the books. Uh, so far, they're about forty dollars, uh, and I got this one at the New York Harry Potter store. And uh, because of that, it has this awesome, the official store sticker that uh, comes with it. That is awesome. I'm going to be using this as a collector's edition. Not really going to be uh, using this as my daily driver uh, read because I've already read through all of the books. But um, definitely, definitely, definitely this book alone deserves its own um, video. So stay tuned later on for that. I'm gonna be going back and we're gonna be going through um, all the cool little things that you can find in here. I think if I can find it, one of my most favorite parts is uh, they also have the accepting letter, but they also have a pull out, um, here it is, a pull out Diagon Alley, where you can just pull this all the way out and you can see all the stores from uh, Diagon Alley. I thought this was really freaking amazing, very special, and um, I can't wait to show you guys um, what else this, this book has to offer uh, with all the pop-ups and little secrets. But very, very beautiful artwork, um, very beautiful, and yeah, I can't wait to dive into this book with you guys. Alright guys, so this is one of the ones that I ended up getting. This is one of the exclusive ones that you can only get at the NYC Harry Potter uh, store. This is the Golden Snitch wand, which um, I had the pleasure of watching the Potter Collector unbox. And I have to say, it it is way more substantial of a wand like that I thought it was going to be. Like The wand is like very, very... Um, it, it feels like it's, it's not cheap at all. It's called uh, Quality. Stop ruining my video! <laughs> <laughs> so the wand comes with uh, this really cool card that explains what the wand does. 
or what the wand is it's just a little it's a little cut um a little speak about the uh, it's a collector's <laughs> card and it has a really cool uh, Hogwarts logo and whatnot. So I'm gonna make sure to try not to lose this. The other ones that I got did not come with this card. Only card, or the only one that came with this card was the exclusive one, um, which is unfortunate. I think these are like really easily um, lost for when people are checking out the ones. They just fly out the the boxes. Every single time I've opened the box, I forgot that that card was even in the box, <laughs> and uh, the card would fly out. So. Here is the uh, the snitch wand. Uh, it's made with resin, and um, the detail the detail is incredible. So the way this is built, it looks like that there's a wood wand that comes up and grabs hold and fuses with the snitch, and then the snitch wings are wrapped on either side. Um, I was debating on whether I was going to get this wand, but ended up ultimately getting this wand. Um, I wanted to get the Phoenix one as well. However, they didn't have the Phoenix in stock. So for those of you traveling out of state coming over, just be aware that um, they run out of stock on certain items very quickly. I remember we had problems. Uh, we weren't able to get the butter beer and I wasn't able to get my robe in my size. Uh, but thankfully I live in the area so I can always go back and check and I will be back at the store on September 12th because um, we have already scheduled for the VR experience which is going to be amazing for my birthday. My birthday's coming up, it's September 14th so that's going to be my little birthday present. Um, but yeah, I am really happy with the way they built the wand. It is definitely um, either something you're going to want to display. Um, very usable, I would say for adults it doesn't feel like a cheap child's uh, toy. Um, it has some weight to it so just be aware of that. It has some weight and substantial. All right, so this is the second one that I ended up getting um, because I felt so hurt by not getting the Fox one that I really wanted. <laughs> um, this is Dumbledore's one. They actually have the exact same one, but they have it labeled as Grindelwald. I don't understand what the difference is. I believe they look exactly the same, but this is the Elder one. And um, as you might not know, uh, for like the snitch and whatnot, the non-character ones you cannot get customized. However, the character ones like Grindelwald, uh, you have uh, uh, Harry Potter, uh, Hermione Granger, all of the character ones can be personalized. So I don't know if you can see this or not, but engraved on the Elder One is my name. I got Mod TV one uh, one three three seven on here because that is my Wizards Unite name. Uh, so I went with that name. So that I can bring this out with me when I play Wizards Unite. <laughs> um, I it's dark. I I kind of like that you can barely see it, and it looks like it's etched into wood. Um, the overall quality of this wand is incredible, actually. Um, it is a one-to-one -one replica, and it is hefty, and it really looks like it's been etched out of a really interesting-looking branch. You have all the runes that go around the wand as well. Um, but yeah, this is the Elder Wand. This is labeled as Dumbledore's Wand, and it is really long. I was actually surprised at the length of the wand. Um, again, very good quality, made with resin. Um, definitely not something I would label as a children's toy. Um, it's meant to be either displayed or you can actually use this as a prop um, for when you go out on your wizarding adventures. All right. Next up is Fox uh, is Dumbledore's Patronus, which is the uh, which is a fox, and I had to go back and reread the books because I did not realize that Dumbledore multiple times uh, shows us that his his uh, Patronus is a fox or is a phoenix, and um, yeah, I just that 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 detail like slipped my mind. So like when I saw this, I was really curious. I was like Dumbledore. Dumbledore's uh, Patronus is a phoenix? This is ridiculous. But sure enough, he actually sends his phoenix out to uh, as, a, of, as a way to send a message to someone. And it's not necessarily stated that it was a phoenix, but it was it was uh, the way it was it was written. Uh, you could tell it was a it was a phoenix that he sent out uh, to send a message. So I got the 
pre-release exclusive that was in the Harry Potter uh, store. Um, it was um, it was stacked over there where um, where Hedwig, the Hedwig plushies and stuff were at, um, and you had some acromantulas above our heads, and it was really cool looking. Um, but yeah, so this is the pop vinyl. This is gonna go with all of my other collections as well. This is definitely um, a a really cool addition to my collection of pop vinyls and uh, exclusives. It also has a scan on the back that will unlock some extra details about uh, Dumbledore and his uh, Phoenix and when he actually uh, uh, sent it out in the book. Uh, all can be scanned and read inside the uh, the Wizarding app. Um, I miss Pottermore. Pottermore had a lot of uh, lore building that JK Rowling was doing and I hope that the Wizarding World app picks up speed as well um, And we get a lot of backstory because it is really really interesting um, not only Dumbledore's um, Backstory in his life and what he's been through throughout the years, but all the other characters as well All right, so next up on the list of uh, items that we grabbed we happened to grab the Triwizard Cup and I did not realize that we had this until I looked in the bag and my wife <laughs> uh, completely snuck this by me. But yeah, so like they had the Triwizard Cup and I didn't realize until I looked at the bottom of this thing that it actually lights up. There is a, if I can see it, there is a switch on the bottom um, of the base of the Triwizard Cup. And once you flip it, beautiful, absolutely beautiful for displaying. Um, we're gonna try to get some type of thing that like waves up blue flames out the cup so that it looks even more official um, I think this is probably gonna land somewhere on my shelf behind me uh, For my streams because it just looks incredible. It's just definitely an amazing piece um, Something that you could probably use to put in the middle of your uh, of your dining table as well um, But it's just it's a cool display piece and I'm super happy that we picked it up Alright, so I'm going to pull out all the knickknacks I've been holding on to that we, we got from the uh, Harry Potter store. Some of which actually came from the uh, Wizards Unite meetup with Expecto Go and uh, Nerdly and them. Um, and yeah, so I'll, uh, I'll, be, I'll be sure to differentiate between everything. But I just kind of like threw everything into one bag <laughs> that I'm just going to dump out here and we're just going to go through it here in a second one by one all right so these are the every flavor beans that we picked up from the Harry Potter store and um, the wife had a very keen eye because we almost picked up the it looked exactly the same but it was a cardboard version box version and the wife saw that they actually had uh, a tin can or tin uh, version of the uh, of the every flavor beans. so we ended up picking up this version um, which I'm super excited about. Um, <laughs> I haven't opened this yet. It looks like there's a sticker on the side. Let's see what the inside looks like. Um, but this is, you know, the Every Flavor Beans. You have a chance to get the grody ones in here as well. Um, they had a very substantial uh, collection of these. I don't see them running out of the Every Flavor Beans anytime soon. But, yep, you just pop the lid right on off. It has a... Uh, it has uh, tape <laughs> holding it down and uh, thankfully because I didn't want these beans to fly out everywhere the beans actually come in its own container um, let's see if we can get these coax these out and uh, oh wow it also comes with oh okay so it comes with a little pamphlet showing you uh, what each bean is I'm not gonna read it because I just want to be surprised but I just got I just saw something really disgusting. One of it said vomit. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna throw that right back on in. Ignore that that said that. <laughs> and um, 
I look forward to opening this up on stream and uh, I don't know using either channel points rewards or something uh, to have you guys pull uh, have me pull from <laughs> from this batch of uh, of beans and see what we get it's going to be fun and disgusting <laughs> So next up we have the chocolate frog. Um, both my wife and I got one. I'm super excited uh, because I wanted to open it up and see um, what card was inside. So there's an actual chocolate frog in here and they have collectible uh, cards. So this is my first time ever uh, opening one of these packages. Um, I have not found a place anywhere that actually sells these uh, and this is I almost don't want to open it up because it just looks so freaking amazing um, if we can when I went to the uh, the Wizards Unite meetup the Expecto Go meetup uh, with him and his and his amazing community um, he's been opening these up throughout the years and what he did was and I swear to you it was incredible um, all the ones that he's opened up on stream, he went ahead and gave them out to everyone. So I was able to snag a Dumbledore because why not? Everything I got from the Harry Potter store ended up being about Dumbledore. Uh, he's definitely a cool dude. Um, so this is this is going to be something that I'm going to treasure for a while and keep in my collection. Um, and uh, let's see. I hope that I don't pull another Dumbledore out of here. <laughs> I don't want to get them confused. Um, but I'll definitely have to when I get a chance because uh, I, I was just all over the place uh, that day. I'll have to get uh, Expecto Go to sign this for me. Um, I have to remember that. You guys, remind me, please, if I ever go out and meet um, all the other content creators. So, yeah. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to open this up. And as at the very bottom of the... Uh, of the box and I think thankfully the stickers on the inside so I don't have to worry about uh, throwing away the sticker but it has the Harry Potter sticker at the bottom uh, because after I take everything out I do want to put this back together because this is definitely a really cool piece to put up on your shelf um, because this is literally a replica of the of the chocolate frog box so remember it only has one good jump in it so we have to be careful when opening it up all right, let's get to, let's get this open. Uh, hopefully, I don't break things. Uh, wrapper's coming off pretty good. Um, this box is really beautiful. It has gold foiling on it, and it has an intricate. Uh, it's pretty much a one-to-one -one replica. I'm gonna try my hardest not to damage the uh, the box. But the good thing is, at the Harry Potter store, they have a literal wall of uh of these chocolate frogs um i'm a little worried because we, before i was able to get this home this did spend some time in the heat so hopefully it's still a frog when we open this up <laughs> and not a frog puddle um but oh so you don't even open it up the traditional way from the movies um it actually opens straight up can you guys see that is that actually a frog still Oh, that's amazing. So they have the chocolate frog um, in a wrapper. And this is a lot of chocolate. This is a substantial amount of chocolate. <laughs> so that's what the chocolate frog looks like. Freaking incredible. And what did we get? Oh my goodness. How do you say your name? Jaconda Skies or Yokanda Skies? It's the one that I believe everyone's been getting out of the out of the chocolate frog box. So I have gotten one as well. This witch is famous for the first ever Atlantic broom crossing. <laughs> okay, awesome. So there we go. Wow, the card looks incredible. It looks nothing like this card. So I wonder if this even is the card that pops out of this or am I thinking of something else? Uh, yeah. Wow. This looks really nice. Alright, I'm going to put that and because I'm not going to eat the frog yet, uh, I'm going to save this, this guy for a later day. <laughs> I've been eating a lot of uh, sweets lately. Uh, so next up, I want to show you guys a couple of things that I got from, uh, from going to the uh, event. And this was given to me by Nerdly. It's a little uh, 
It's a necklace with a Pokeball on it that I thought was freaking amazing. Um, I play Pokemon Go uh, still to this day. I'm level 40. And um, this was this was really cool to, to get from. She also made uh, lanyards and passed out lanyards. And this was the lanyard she made for me. It had my uh, wizard, my wandering wizard logo, my name, um, Mod Monkey, and then my old name, which I still use for Wizard Unite, um, uh, the Wandering Wizard. And then I didn't even realize this, but because I'm Ravenclaw, it has my house, my house uh, crest on there as well. And also what's really cool is they had a schedule of all the events that were planned. They had a ton of planning went into this event and I only got like a really teeny corner of everything that they ended up doing, which was um, amazing. But as you guys all know, my nephew came into the world and <laughs> I, I'm sorry, nephew, he's, he's the most beautiful thing in the world and I had to like drop everything uh, to be with him. So that's, that's my excuse. <laughs> That's uh, the best excuse on the face of the earth, in my opinion. Um, we, me and the wife also did the scavenger hunt. Um, this is the pin that you get from the scavenger hunt. Um, it's a little bit basic, but I mean, it's a free pin. It's not enamel, but it is also really cool. Um, what it is, is you have all the houses on the top here, and then you have that big eagle that, uh, that spins around in the store. Um, that wraps around the spiral staircases, just like uh, in the in Dum well, going to Dumbledore's office. So you have that symbol there as well. And this is the official NYC free pin that you get by doing the scavenger hunt. Um, the store that day was really, really crowded, um, and it was almost it was really difficult to get the scavenger hunt done. Um, but we managed it uh, just barely <laughs> and uh, was able to spell out the secret uh, the secret code. So when you go, I mean, give it a shot if it's not too crowded. But um, hit me up if, if you can't figure it out because I know I know the code. <laughs> At least to the Harry Potter store, I know the code. Also picked up a uh, Deathly Hollows uh, shirt pin. And um, I believe um, we'll get to see what the wife got. But this is a... Uh, Deathly Hollows pin, I had to do it. I'm probably gonna put this either on my book bag or um, somewhere where I'm not gonna lose it that I actually wanna carry around with me. It's a nice little low-key way of saying um, you love the Harry Potter universe without saying you love the Harry Potter universe, in my opinion. Um, I went ahead and got the head boy for the uh, Ravenclaw as well because let's face it, I feel like I'm the, I'm the head boy. <laughs> They didn't have the head girl, unfortunately, for Slytherin, because um, my wife, I know she was looking for that. All right, so there was no head girl um, at all for the Ravenclaw either. It was pretty weird. Um, either it was sold out already, or they just didn't have one on display. But I snagged my head boy, and I'm pretty freaking happy about it. Uh, this is also one of those uh, either on my book bag or on my shirt. It's pretty heavy, so I don't think I'm going to wear this on my shirt. It'll probably drag my shirt down. Um, but it's definitely something that you can attach to you, your book bag um, as well. Uh, from the event that we went to, uh, expect to go in them. Also passed out a bunch of like a goodie bag, um, and I gave the goodie bag to, the bag itself to my wife. It said uh, "Mischief Managed" from the Marauders map. But there's also there was also a bunch of really awesome stickers that I have to figure out where I'm going to actually put these because every last one of them is just incredibly designed i would love to know where they got these stickers from because they were freaking they're amazing they're absolutely amazing so um i got the emergency message a magical exposure one which is, is from uh wizards unite or you know from the makuza and then i have the hufflepuff house i have the ravenclaw house which is my my house which is amazing um we have seeker down here with a quidditch and i love the design as well at which one is this? This looks like it's a Hogwarts Apothecary Department. Sleeping Drought. So this is the uh, the, the little uh, label that goes over the bottle. So what I might end up doing is I might end up getting a really cool, funky looking like green square bottle. Um, and then putting the sticker on the front of it to uh, to put on my shelf for the, uh, for the RP reasons. Um, also... I got this from another member. I am so sorry that I forgot the name. Uh, they, they were passing out house uh, uh, bands I thought were pretty cool that they were making. 
and um, also we got a little teacup as well uh, that's supposed to go this way to hold pitchers so you would put this in, ah, in here and then you would put the cork on here and then this will hold like pictures and stuff like that in there that you would want to hold to put on your desk um, I thought this was a really cool idea but the first thing I thought when I saw this was like oh my good I, oh my goodness I can get like a little succulent in here or I can get like a little bonsai <laughs> a little tiny teeny bonsai uh, but this was pretty cool I was also given um, my class, my profession, my profession, um, profession in the uh, Wizards Unite game. They had pins and stickers that they were giving out as well. Last but not least, I had to, I could not resist getting the Marauders Map reusable bag. It also, coolly enough, has a little bag holder thingy on the inside as well that you can use. It's like a little pocket on the inside that says Harry Potter New York. Um, I thought this was freaking incredible. Really simple, but just really cool at the same time. Uh, I could throw some stuff in here and also show my love for the Wizarding World universe. All right, so this is gonna be the first thing from my wife's bag that she got. Um, and this is her wand that she ended up picking up. Um, <laughs> spoiler alert, she's a Slytherin and she loves all things dark arts. So I can you can only guess which wand she ended up getting. It is Lord Voldemort's wand, and she got Queen Bavmorda, which is her uh, Wizards Unite name engraved on the wand itself. Again, this is a beautiful wand. It feels like it, it, it's, a, it's made out of bone. It's crazy feeling, like the way it feels is amazing. Um, a lot of these wands, they're all made, um, they're all made with resin, so it's really, uh, cool that they were able to create different textures and then the detail in the wands are incredible as well um, But yeah, so this is the bone wand that uh, Lord Voldemort uses and yes She does run around yelling a Vada Kedavra Every five seconds while chasing me with this wand down the hallway. It's been great <laughs> All right next up in the wife's bag she went ahead and picked up a uh, a clutch purse from there and it's a time turner clutch bag that I thought was really really awesome she freaked out when she saw it and um, yeah so if I can open it up she's gonna have places to put her cards she has a uh, little bag in the middle with stars and in in the inline as well this is a really cool looking bag with like stars all the way around embroidered and in more places to put cards and the texture the feeling is really really amazing so it says harry potter lounge fly and then on the other side you have a time turner that doesn't turn but it's the symbol of a time turner and it looks really really good so there you go she's really happy with this by the way next up in the bag of goodies this will be my wife's uh, chocolate frog. However, unfortunately, I cannot open this up. Um, I'll let you guys know what card she ends up getting, but this is her chocolate frog that she ended up grabbing as well. Um, she went ahead and picked up a Slytherin pin that was really cool. She also went ahead and got a really big Deathly Hollows uh, keychain that she has on a keychain. Um, I'll take a picture of it and post it if I can if I can find it. But she's she has it on her keychain, and um, those are the two things that she ended up grabbing uh, for her bag and for her uh, keys. Next up in the bag, she also uh, because we both participated in the scavenger hunt together, we both got the exclusive uh, Harry Potter uh, New York Harry Potter store pin. That, like I said, I love the design. It's Really basic, not enamel, but again, it's something that you can get just by doing the scavenger hunt, which I thought was pretty cool uh, to have. So from the event, um, she won a couple things that I got from the uh, Expecto Go meetup. So this is the bag that has Mischief Manage on it. She really wanted to use this, so I gave this to her. Uh, she fell in love with the Death Eater because, like I said, she's all about the dark arts. So I ended up giving the little uh, figurine for, to her that she's going to be putting on her desk once it's cleared off. And um, I gave her, as a joke, I gave her the Gilderoy Lockhart 
uh, card that uh, one of the cards of that Expecto Go was being passed out. Again, I have to remind myself that I need to get these cards signed by Expecto Go when I get a chance. Um, whenever I meet up with him again, so that we have uh, these cards to display um, on the little rack that we're going to start with uh, Harry Potter items and merch. All right, so that is it for me today, guys. Um, it's been amazing going through everything that we got from the New York store haul. Um, I think one of the best things that I could say that I really enjoy a lot are the wands. Um, so if you're ever in town and you wanna check out the store, I'd say make a bean line, and it shouldn't be that hard because it's literally the first thing you run into or you have to pass is the, um, is the wand section. Definitely worth picking up not one not two maybe like five if, if you can um these ones are freaking amazing and i'm uh looking forward to bringing this with me throughout new york where i go um but yeah that that that's it's incredible so on the 12th i'm gonna be heading back to the store hopefully it's not as crowded as it as it was when i went um we're gonna be doing the vr experience and from what i'm hearing from other people the vr experience is otherworldly it's nothing like anyone has ever seen so i'm super super excited about that and i'll give you guys a full rundown uh when that happens still look forward to uh more information about the mina lima books i'm already going to be ordering the second one that's already been announced uh, so it looks like she's going to be going through all all of the original uh, Harry Potter books from Sorcerer's Stone, uh, Prisoner of Azkaban, all the way down the line um, with pop-ups and everything. It's it actually incredible. It's like one of my most favorite uh, things. I'm happy I ran into it and I'm happy that I picked it up because I heard about it, but I didn't know it was gonna be at the store. Um, I kind of want to get the rest of them from the store only because I want to get the the New York, the special New York uh, sticker. Like I said, I'm gonna be collecting these um, throughout the years. I gave away all of my original Harry Potter books, and I think I only still have uh, this one right here, which is the last one. And this is the uh, the Deathly Hollows, which is a very one of the very last books. So, um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> thank you guys for everything. Thank you guys for following, um, and thank you guys for all the support and love. Uh, definitely gonna be look forward to more Harry Potter related stuff on the on the site. Um, I have gotten back into uh, Wizards Unite and I'm currently in the community day thing. So I'm giving that another run. I have a lot that I would love to say about the game. Uh, leaving, coming back, and and uh, yeah. So for those of you who uh, are still playing the game, please reach out to me because I want to know um, how you feel uh, this entire time playing and not leaving at all. Like I took a huge hiatus. I think I'm only like level 40. Um, but yeah, the wife is actually Queen Bav Morda is actually back into Wizards Unite again and she's playing. So that that is intriguing in and of itself. Um, but that's it for me, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Uh, let me know how you feel about the about the video. Um, did you get to, you know, pick up anything at the Harry Potter store? Uh, if you did, what was it? I'm super curious because I mean, I'm not done shopping. Like, <laughs> I mean, I feel like I, I bought so much stuff, but there's just so, so much stuff there. So much stuff. I feel like I didn't see half the stuff that was there. Um, also on top of that, do know that they did say every two to three months, they're going to be changing the inventory in that store. So I'm looking for the puking pastry uh, statue. There's a couple of things I would love to have in my collection. Um, and I'm going to start the pop vinyl collection as well. Now that I have the Fox uh, for the Harry Potter line. And I'm looking forward to that. But that is it for me today, guys. I love you guys. Thank you guys for everything. And I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good one. All right, one last thing before I head off because I am completely bad at self-promotion. Um, I just want to give a quick shout out to Skeletor Assassin and Goofy Goofus for being my two patrons. Uh, if you guys don't know, I have a patron account. And if you would like to support this channel, please have, head over. The links will be in the description down below. And uh, thank you to the community for all your loves, your support, and helping me make or allowing me to make content like this. If it's not for you guys, I wouldn't be able to do half the things that I do today thank you for everything thank you for continuing to help me grow thank you for supporting me thank you for everything you guys do here in the discord um every, everywhere uh, helping me out on twitch uh again i appreciate you guys I appreciate everything you guys do and i look forward to making more videos like this in the future 
So I'll see you guys in the next one again later. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>